second earthquake has hit western Afghanistan after a deadly tremor shook the same region on Saturday, claiming at least 2,000 lives. The latest 6.3 magnitude quake struck around 28 kilometers outside the region's capital, Herat. At least 80 people are injured from the tremor, with a key highway also blocked because of a landslide. <laughs> Still reeling from a devastating earthquake four days earlier, a second tremor of equal magnitude strikes. The entire village of Chahak, which managed to escape Saturday's first deadly quake, now flattened. 700 homes demolished. Survivors of the weekend devastation have been sleeping outside in tents or in flimsy shelters, waiting in fear of possible aftershocks. Their homes and livestock already gone, the people of this region now face a serious shortage of essentials. Villages are scarce on water, food and medical supplies. The urgency for aid sharpened by the looming cold of winter, not far off. <laughs> Hospitals are at breaking point. They are running out of space to treat the increasing number of injured, the casualties climbing as search and rescue operations continue. The Afghan Red Crescent from five provinces across the country has come to the aid of local residents. They've erected makeshift tents and have provided necessities like thick blankets and shoes. But the scale of the tragedy requires international assistance. China, Iran and Pakistan have pledged food, medicine, tents and money. And the United Nations has approved a $5 million emergency reserve allocation from the Afghanistan Humanitarian Fund. Aid from Western countries is limited, as Afghanistan's Taliban government finds itself with little support. The country already faces a humanitarian crisis due to a significant reduction in foreign aid since the Taliban took power in 2021.